In this Universe Sandbox video, we're going to be terraforming Pluto. Pluto used to be a planet, but now it's a dwarf planet, so we're going to show it some love today by terraforming it. Okay, so here's Pluto. Let's turn on the flashlight so we can see better. It looks like that. I already know that the first thing we're going to want to do is increase the mass because anything below 0.6 Earths is not going to hold water well. So the rules of terraforming that we follow are we're not allowed to change any of its properties in here except for the atmosphere. We're allowed to change atmosphere only because there's no other way to change it. And then we are allowed to use tools anything in here and we can also add other objects to like throw at it so step one is going to be to add some mass so if we go to tools and then material we can actually shoot um material right into it so if we check its composition we can see it's all silicate so let's just shoot some more silicate into it so this graph will show the mass over time okay perfect now our mass is at 0 0.678 earths and it is a little warm on the planet here, so let's speed up time. So we left a little bit of marks on the planet, but that'll be okay. I tried to focus it all right here after I realized that it's going to do some damage. It looks like we got some giant like, craters here. But most of the planet still looks pretty okay. So now that our mass is okay, let's do the atmosphere really quick. We go to surface. So I'm worried that even with a really, really thick atmosphere, this isn't gonna heat up. Cause with Titan in the last episode, it didn't until we added water. So let's add, let's just add an Earth's atmosphere onto it. And then we'll add as many atmosphere layers as we can just to try to get heating. And then we'll also add the water onto it. So if we go to material again, we can click water and then Beautiful. Try to fill these craters with water. And then if we go to surface, we can click settle water. And this is just like if we sped up time and watched all the water settle over the surface. So that looks pretty good. We want it almost all water. This is like the biggest continent here. And then we got, uh, looks like some ice thing. And then we got a bunch of islands, which should be good. We can see it's working, it's heating. Oh my goodness. I thought it wasn't gonna work. So what's our rotational period here? Six days, we can work with that. We'll keep it like that. So if it's actually heating up and we don't want it too hot, we're gonna actually have to turn down some of the atmosphere layers. Okay, so it looks like five atmosphere layers is like perfect. And then let's try to adjust some of its visuals now. Let's make it, let's give it like a darker blue atmosphere. Almost like a purplish, kind of like this. So it's like, has that like brownish look to it. Clouds, we're gonna want those to be more opaque, I think. We can see them better. And let's do sparse and streaks to try to get a unique cloud profile here. City lights, we want to add those. So it's actually going to be really dark out here for the people who live here. This is daytime, so if we land on it, I mean, it's not super accurate, but yeah, the sun's all the way over there. And then turn on vegetation so we can see the city lights are working. Let's see if we can get one with more coverage. So if we can, if we hit random over here, we can, oh wait, that one was good, but it's too late. Okay, I like that one. It's a little more spread out and we can change them too. So let's do maybe greenish just because we can. I kind of like the red land that we have. So we could actually do vegetation and then make it red. So we can say that the plants grow red here and the ice looks actually pretty cool. I kind of want to give it another big continent like this. So we can actually go over here and then go tools and planet scaping. And then we can add elevation. So this will be like the pole. So it's going to be pretty icy up here. There we go, that looks great. Looks perfect. We got a little bit of damage here from the craters, but that's okay. So here's our terraformed Pluto. Let's close this out. That looks really, really cool. This might be my favorite one we've done so far. Um, if we check the habitability, we got 64.1%, which is very good. We got the city lights going on the back, green city lights with the red uh, land. And we got, we added some continents and that looks really good. Let's name it Red Pluto, just cause it's red. So here's Pluto, all finished in our system now. I'm not gonna go through them all, but if you click the eye icon right here, you can click, go to the playlist where we've done Venus, uh, the moon, Mars, Titan, and now Pluto. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more Universe Sandbox content, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.